What's up everybody, I'm Alex and in this video we're going to take a look at the brand new Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra. So this video will be based mainly on my first impressions about the watch because I haven't been testing it for quite a while and I have to say that uh, there are many things that I want to test about this watch. There are many features that I want to test so in future video I will be able to do a full review of the watch to show you everything, to showcase everything and to do a little comparison between this watch and the previous generation, the Tick Watch 3 Pro. Starting with this, that the box is almost the same as the previous generation, also is the charger. The charging cable is absolutely the same, so you can use them with both watches if you have the previous version. The body of the watch is also the same size and it is made of stainless steel. The back is plastic and the screen is covered with Gorilla Glass. One of the main design differences that we see here is that now you have something that resembles a dial on the top of the watch, which is not a dial, but it has some grooves and uh, at first glance when I saw it, I thought that this is a dial like uh, on the Samsung Galaxy watches that you can turn but unfortunately you can't. Another big design difference is the strap and it is not only a design difference but it is also a comfort difference because this strap feels very well and I think that I like it more than the previous generation of watches because this one is softer to the touch but at the same time it's tougher because it is a little bit thicker. It is a new kind of rubber that the guys from Tick Watch are using and I have to say that uh, I can give a thumbs up for this approach. The watch itself is very comfortable and I like how it stays on the hand no matter if you're using it on your left hand or on your right hand. And a little bit about the hardware, here you have the Snapdragon 4100, this is not the plus version but this is the 4100 which is co-developed with Mob Voice, so it is a little bit better I suppose than the 4100. You have 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage which is plenty enough for a watch. I haven't been experiencing any issues with the watch and I have to say that the, this is a good thing because when you're using a smartwatch which is uh, very sluggish uh, it is not a pleasant experience, so in this case the guys from TickWatch did a great job here with tuning the hardware to the software and while talking about the software you know that TickWatches are coming with Wear OS which is the strongest part of these uh, devices. Wear OS is very capable because you can install almost everything from the Google Play Store and uh, the variety of applications that you have is enormous. You can download almost everything that uh, you got in mind and uh, many of the people are going to buy this watch because of the integration because they can use Strava because they can use Komoot and Dumondo and so many sport applications that are going to track their workouts and in my opinion this is maybe one of the strongest parts the Wear OS. Also another great feature is that you can use Google Pay so now you don't even have to carry your wallet, you don't have to carry your card or something like this, you just go and tap your watch to the terminal because it has NFC and you are going to pay with it which is very handy. And the phone application has gone through some changes, some drastic changes that uh, are for good I think because the whole design is changed now, the whole design is way more different, it is way more modern and it is way more easier to navigate in. In the application you can take a look of your data for the heart rate, for the oxygen, for the stress levels, for the mental and physical fatigue. Also you can check your sleep cycles because uh, it now has improved sensors, it has improved tracking of your sleep and your heart rate. Two of the new things that I see here and I want to test for a longer time because uh, I'm not so sure that I can make a statement right at the moment are the mental and the physical fatigue and I have to say that uh, I need to test them a little bit more because sometimes when I felt very exhausted physically the application actually told me that I'm fully refreshed and ready to go and I was feeling like crap. Another feature that is new for this watch is the heart health tracking. So in this case the watch will be measuring every single beat of your heart. It can detect abnormal work of your heart, it can also detect atrial fibrillation which uh, I suppose I'm saying right but I'm not so sure because I'm not into the medical stuff and I cannot uh, know the terminology. But the fact that you have to know is that if you want to enable this feature to track your health 24-7 the watch will disable the oxygen tracking and the stress tracking I think. So in this case the analysis will be only for your heart. And by the way, as this is not a medical device, I suggest you not to trust this information 100%. This can give you some kind of orientation about the health of your heart, but this is not a statement. If you have some problems with your heart, please go to the doctor to take a look at you to see what's going on with you, but uh, you cannot trust a smartwatch at 100%. 
I know that I'm going to receive this question a lot if the watch is waterproof. Yeah, it has IP68 water resistance, so you can swim with it. You can also track your swimming performance with the included sports mode in the T-Health application. Also, this covers MU standard 810G. In this case, it is scratch proof, dust proof, and so on. So this is a really tough watch, but it is not a sapphire glass at the top. It is only Gorilla glass. So keep in mind this thing and uh, try not smashing your watch here and there. One of the things that I'm going to test it out and uh, include it in the full review is hiking because this is uh, my stuff, this is the sport that I practice and I like hiking so I'll be using this watch for hiking, I'll be using it also for walking in the city and uh, seeing and comparing the data to other GPS devices and see how this performs because I have uh, big hopes for the GPS accuracy of this watch. One of the most important things for me while using the TeakWatch 3 Pro Ultra is the sound that uh, it can produce and the microphone quality. Because I'm frequently driving and making phone calls and all the phone calls are going to my headphones or to my watch. And when I don't carry my headphones with me, the watch is the savior because I won't be driving and talking on the phone. Now I can hear my phone calls uh, more clear, more louder. And I have to say that the other side can also hear me more clear than with the previous generations. You can use the watch for talking on the phone but you have to remember that your phone has to be with you your phone has to be connected via bluetooth to your watch because this is not an LTE version you don't have an eSIM option for this watch here are a few of the things in my opinion that need a little bit of improvement first of all the back is plastic I know that they are cutting some weight with putting plastic back on the watch but uh, after using some other watches with ceramic back I have to say that the ceramic feels very nice and when you put a ceramic back you can use a wireless charging and this this is the second thing that I want to see in this watch, a wireless charging options and uh, not only using this uh, proprietary cable because if I'm traveling somewhere I want to use the reverse charging of my phone to be able to charge my watch. And while talking about the battery here you have something like 72 hours of battery life. In my case I had something like 65 to 67 hours with all of the functions working, with all of the functions tracking my health and my heart, my oxygen and stuff like this. If we are comparing the specs here we can see that this watch has better battery life than the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. And one of the things that adds up to the better battery life is the dual screen because here you have two screens. You have an AMOLED screen with a resolution of 454 by 454 which is something like uh, 360 some PPI, a very nice screen with very good colors, very well responsive. The touch screen is incredible here. I have absolutely no issues with it. And the other screen that you have is on top of it, which uh, resembles something like an analog screen, which saves power. It can also show you when you're working out your heart rate, your distance and stuff like this. So uh, this is made to save battery and I like this approach. I actually enjoy the feature that you can also choose different colors for the backlighting of uh, this second screen, which is a good point because in the previous generation of the watch you didn't have such an option. Overall my first impressions of the watch are very good and uh, keeping in mind the price that comes for Europe at 299 euro in Amazon I have to say that this is a very compatible watch to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, to the Fossil Gen 6 and uh, maybe to some of the Garmin watches. Of course as I said before in the video I will be testing thoroughly the sport functions and other functions and I will look for bugs and stuff like this to see how it goes and to give you my uh, full opinion of the watch to give you everything that I have as information and to see if it is actually worth it because for me as a person who is used to wear watch daily and uh, sleeping with the watch tracking sleep and stuff like this uh, this is uh, one of the most important gadgets that I own and I hope that it will keep working well so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you find it useful I hope you like it if it is so smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel don't forget to ring the bell icon so you can receive a notification when I upload the full review of the watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!